growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be. So let's get to like 86. Okay, let's go to about 86. What was going down in 86? Like, who, what, what, what was the music scene looking like for us rapping Dallas? Who was all coming together trying to make this thing jump? Something Fresh was a group that joined up with Snake, Big Al, and Casanova Rock, and they became Nemesis. And uh, an offshoot of that was Ron C. Trendsetter, that, <clears throat> that stuff. And uh, they were pretty much the pulse of rap music coming up out of the city. Now, Baidu was around rapping, and people don't seem to remember this. She was called Apples back then, um, and she used to rap with a dude named Dallas. It was a, They had a look like Snoopy and Dallas, and they had a song. Uh, I, I used to know the song, but all I remember is something about a wish sandwich. Uh, I had some, some sandwich, and it'll be complete. Oh, man, I wish I had some meat. Some old bullshit. Yeah. It was crazy, but, yeah. you know. When she had this George of the Jungle shit, I remember all that. George of the Jungle was her rap talking about a motherfucker getting gone real. It, it was some funny shit. <laughs> what, what? Apples? I mean, Eric, what was that? <laughs> I, hope, I hope she remember that. That, that was a funny ass lyric. Right. What the fuck is she talking about? George, George of the Jungle. <laughs> Watch out for the. He had the Shamalama, Lama, Lama, Lama syndrome. Some shit. She, she know what the fuck. She, she, she was cold. And that's why when I see her rap, on BET and shit like that, we not surprised. Us who was from the soil, we know. Right, she right. was a rapper. It was the singing that caught us off guard. I'm like, right. the fuck she doing? What? Because I was in the penitentiary when I saw her. First time I saw her, you know, fast forward, I was in the penitentiary. It was 96. She was on a remix of D'Angelo Lady. And I said, okay. hey, man. I told this dude, I'm like, I know her, dog. He said, you don't know her, motherfucker. You know, dog. I ain't bullshitting. She out of sight, dog. He's like, nah, man. I, I swear that's ours. And I couldn't prove it because it was Erica Badu. Well, what the fuck is that? Right. Who the, what is that shit? I, that looked like apples. Yeah. And then I finally read a vibe and it was talking about a song she got called Apple Tree. And I said, that's got to be a connection. Man. Uh, I know it's got to be a connection. That's what an apple tree. Okay. Yeah. And then okay. When that I, makes sense. Yeah. When I got out, it was finally verified. I ran to a sister and all that old type shit. But, you know, shout out to Coco, man. Yeah, shout out to Coco, man. Everybody, Coco, you've been mentioned <laughs> on this podcast, Bob. A lot of times now, Coco. Now, Coco. you still got that cow, that cow hat girl. <laughs> Coco is a beautiful lady. Uh, yeah, for real. She's a beautiful lady. My phone <laughs> work is what I'm saying. Goddamn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, man. Uh, I remember there was a thing. Uh, there was some kind of uh, shady promoter that had all of us up at some shit at the King Center after one of them talent show things. I don't remember the specifics because I'm little, so I really wasn't paying attention. But uh, I remember all the people that was there, which is why I know this was something historic and you'd have to talk to the older people who remember. I remember Badu being there. I remember all the pop locking motherfuckers, the box heads, the rockets, all them. I remember uh, uh, tracing the uh, DLC. What, what, uh, what's that? Uh, DLC, fuck it. I forgot the little clique he was with. I remember the motherfuckers. He became, he started rocking with Feel Fresh after this shit. Oh, okay. uh, um, I don't think they even had a name yet. Matter of fact, I think they came up with that shit fucking with Dr. Rock. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I forgot how they plugged in the rock. But rock was the whole connect. Because Dr. Rock come from Cali and he was plugged in with NWA and all this old shit. Uh, and he's the whole reason for DLC. Matter of fact, for all of y'all uh, trying to figure out the DLC, he got a song he say, Dope. I would have been down with rock, but I'll be broke by the punk. I'm opening up a trunk to. He's talking about Dr. Rock. Dr. Rock, hey man, talk to DLC about that shit. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> he's talking about Dr. Rock. You know I mean, I'm, I, I'm here. I'm here from the ground up. I remember all this shit when it was right. happening, when it was happening in real time. Goddamn it, it had nothing to do with me. But uh, yeah, uh, it was some shady promoters who uh, was trying to fuck over a lot of people. But I'm just saying. At that time, it was a hub. I could see that shit was formed, and this was had to be like '84. I know it was '84 because Friends was out. Friends, how, that was yeah, that came out okay. in '84. Well, so yeah, in '84, it was some. It was taking form as far as music in the city. I saw it with my own eyes. Right. Which is why I decided to go and take it serious because I was singing, and people don't know that I was singing before this rap shit. You know, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm singing and shit, but I liked poetry already, and this new. Whatever this shit is gonna be called, I liked it. And I saw my brother and him do it. And I was inspired. I said, let me do this shit. And I was terrible at first. <laughs> I was terrible as shit. I was rap I still remember one of my first raps. It say, a lady scared. They shot a nigga in the head. He robbed the store and now he's dead. 
He made the paper. The headline read, they found a man. He was found dead. Dead as a beast, <laughs> I would say. He was lying there smelling in the alleyway. He should have listened to me. And what I said, that's why this very day, the man is dead. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this shit? You said dead 30 times. What? Oh, he definitely got a lie. What is this They ain't doing that now, though. This shit, you know, they got the same, you know, repeating this thing. You yeah, said that. They, then came back, made a full comeback. Yeah, made a full comeback. It's elementary. I was in what the fucking fifth grade with that bullshit, and this is what they the level they rapping on now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So a lot of the shit they doing now, Alkaline. <laughs> yeah, a lot of you know that made for nigga that gave a forty. Yeah, a forty ass. You know they marketing for brothers with this shit, but a lot of the stuff they doing now, I already did back then, and there's so many people that verify that. I was DMX. I was Tupac. I was Twister. I was all them. Damn, that nigga's out DMX, out Tupac, yeah. I was Twister. I was all of them. So, 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 so. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.